Yeah, greetings everybody. My name is Oscar Kibet. Today I decided to do a live stream because most of the time we always post, um, what do you call it? We always post um, shorts, YouTube shorts. So today I wanted, I wanted to make the video slightly longer. Now what I can advise you for people who, are, who have smaller channels like us, let's say from, um, let's, uh, from a thousand onwards, uh, YouTube has a feature whereby you can be able to um, post shorts. The advantage with shorts is that uh, over the longer videos, is um, it's very easy to grow your fan base uh, from people subscribing and also from uh, uh, getting views. That, that's one way we, we prefer doing it, using. Now, what is happening today, I want to demonstrate something uh, short. Slide, today I'm demonstrating something uh, slightly longer. Like I said, we venture into basketry making, furniture, and also lightings. Now, um, what is be right behind me, we have different kind, kinds of baskets that we make. One of these is the, this is a bread basket. Um, this is a papa dam basket. Okay, most of these baskets that we make are, are for, the, for the hotels. But they're also useful for the homes. And then you also have another basket here. This one can also be used for bread. Um, it can also be used for, um, let's say, if, if you have room amenities like shower gel, um, like shower gel, hair conditioners, or even the small soaps. These ones mostly are used in the rooms. And then another basket that I have here, this is called a condiment holder. Here you can have um, tomato sauce, ketchup, Tabasco for the tables. This is another type of basket that you have, uh, that, that, that you can have. Now, what is happening, um, the, the traditional baskets were made from mattings. Matting is, is another form of um, basketry weaving. The baskets of before, were woven with cane, even to the base. But as here, we, are do, we, we usually do it differently because it's much easier to, put, uh, to make them in, in bulk. And then um, it, 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 uh, it, it usually lasts longer. Like for example, what you should use for making these baskets, uh, they are called, referred to as wood bases. Um, a wood base is something like this, yeah? Okay, before we only used to put uh, plywood, which was this, but we realized um, with veneer also on top, it, it will add some added value. Because the problem with plywood only, you tend to have some dead knots. So we decided it would be easier if um, to eradicate these dead knots, we have a veneer base like this one here. Like for example, as you can see, now, how we do the veneer bases is uh, we attach it with something called contact glue here in Kenya. I don't know what, what you people use from, from there. So, um, usually it comes in three millimeter. So plywood is three millimeter and then you also have veneer. But veneer is slightly thinner. So, um, once we, we purchase the, the, the plywood, we usually uh, also purchase the contact glue contact glue and then we also purchase the the, the whatever um, we also purchase the vineyard then that is how we attach to it like that first as the base and then uh, from there that is when we start with it now for it to uh, for the base to be woven fast we always bore holes we bore holes in accordance to the size of the cane yeah so we shall use this size of the cane, which is about three millimeter, and then we bought the holes, yeah? We bought the holes on this, on these spaces, and then from there we can, that's how we start with it. Now, another basket that I forgot to show you that we shall make, is called the wine holder. This is how it looks like, yeah? This is now called the wine holder. So this one does not have a wooden base. This one is just a hole at the center. And then with the, with, with 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 a metal bar underneath this one this one already supports it supports the the wine 
when, when, you, when you are putting the wine bottle inside. So um, what, this, what our clients usually, how they use these baskets? They usually have the wine bottle inside and then um, there's something called a uh, batch napkins, the ones which are for the table. So the batch napkin is placed here. Um, I forgot to show, uh, carry a sample, but anyway, I'll just demonstrate briefly how it looks like. So a batch napkin may be, okay, something like this. Eh? So the batch napkin is placed inside, yeah, and then, um, and then um, it, topples, it topples down. Yeah, to something like that, and then that is where you put the the wine bottle. This one, you, with this kind of basket, you can be able to serve red wine, white wine, or different kinds of things. Now, um, another thing I wanted to show you briefly before we end uh, this um, live stream. There, there are two ways of uh, how we 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 store these baskets, because from the from from, from uh, weaving, we also have a shelf bracket here. This is how we, for example, if you have a workshop and you want to store some of, some of your things, the best way of doing it, if you have a limited uh, kind of a space, is, you, uh, is to have a wall bracket like this one, this one that you've made, yeah? This one is made from rot, eh? it's made from rot and then we twined it with, with a cane. And then we resize it on the wall. We use uh, like maybe four inches of screw. Um, we bore it inside. The, the, the best tool that you can use is called um, an impact driver. So that is how we we have our wall shelves. Wall shelves, just like this one now. Now we can be able to um, put several of our baskets here. Yeah, and as you can see, it's very strong and uh, and, and and sturdy. So that is what I had to discuss about our products. Now, um, many, there are many questions people ask to me, like for example, during the COVID pandemic, um, most of our clients were hotels and lodges. So what we decided to do, because uh, most, most, uh, most, of the ho most of the hotels in, in this country, they kind of went down, but now we are coming out of that. So one of the things I wanted to advise people is the best way right now you can be able to make sales is through YouTube and uh, we also make our sales through Instagram. Instagram, you can, um, the best way of making sales through Instagram, but if, if you're starting as a small channel, is to sponsor ads. You can maybe start with uh, $5 per, per post. You just sponsor the ad, which is around five dollars. Five dollars takes you between five to six days. That's how you can start if you are a small uh, YouTube channel like us. Another way you can sell through YouTube is um, uh, Google AdSense. But uh, by posting views, uh, sorry, by posting videos, um, you don't make much. Yeah, the only way you can make much is. Um, if you if if you have a website and you link your website with uh, Google Ads, yeah, AdSense. If if you are really starting and uh, you want to make more rev, ads more revenues, it's not a very fast way of making money. But with Google Ads, you are able to uh, sponsor your website through Google Ads. Another way is uh, Facebook. We decided, uh, we noticed also, um, Facebook is another way you can be able to make your online sales, but still, um, you have to sponsor those ads. Most people don't understand these kind of concepts. Like, if, if you're posting on Instagram or you're posting on Facebook, the best way of doing it is by posting the ad. But if you're starting, uh, because the because the charges are, are, are slightly brutal. It's better you start with $5 as, as you go by. So anyway, um, that's all that I had for today. So um, I'll still be posting, um, I'll still be posting uh, shots as time goes by. Please, um, uh, please, if you want to check more on our content, you can go to our shots. 
we also have community posts because most of the shots that we we, we make are not complete products but we'll be posting most most of our complete products on uh, on the community posts and then also there you can also um the, our youtube channel is also linked with instagram uh, vk and the patreon uh, channel and um and okay so thank you so much i really appreciate uh, the engagement that i'm getting here because at least I'm, I'm able to see each day we are getting um, we are getting new subscribers and views. So thank you so much, and please like and share my content. Thank you so much, and God bless.